is lucky winner number four. Now, the name soon to be heard around the universe is Mr. Mike TV. Hey, Mike, do you think we might shut that thing off? No, are you crazy? He won't answer till the station break. Mike, the country wants to hear from you. The world is waiting, Mike. Can't you shut up? I'm busy. Boy, what a great show. I serve all his TV dinners right here. He's never even been to the table. You love to watch TV, Mike? You bet. What about that golden ticket, Mike? That's what we all Hold it. Here. I want to catch this. You like the killings, huh? What do you think life's all about? Mike, would you tell us if... Wait till I get a real one. Colt 45. Pop won't let me have one yet, will you, Pop? Not till you're 12, son. <laughs> I have a box to open today from, cover the address, see the sticker, popfigures.com. Great little independent Funko seller here in the United Kingdom. I use them for a brilliant July the 4th special promotion US Sports Mystery Box a few weeks ago, obviously, back in July, and um, had a lot of fun with that was able to gift out some brilliant pops to friends of mine and I was determined that when something else came up from pop figures I would use them again and today's the day I can show you two pops in here that weren't particularly cheap altogether and I think that's with free postage yeah I've paid just under £50 for two pops that's a lot of money for two Funko pops which will probably be second hand as well or pre-owned but they both vaulted they're both in a line that I've recently started collecting and that I'm about halfway through it'll be over halfway now now that I've got these and I'm just really excited to show you these these have taken just over a week to come from pop figures I don't think it's their fault um, I think this is just a box that's been sitting around in a Royal Mail depot somewhere for a few days anyway without much further ado let me get my trusty yellow knife ready. I'm sorry that it seems to me that we are over. And I never will forget the day we met. And girl, I'm gonna miss you. And now, let us have a... Sell... It's all... Woo! Oh, I can't wait to see these. So one of these was, I think, $29.99, and the other one $19.99. I'm paying for them via ClearPay, which is essentially the layaway company that Pop Figures uses, and they take payments once every two weeks. Interest-free, of course. So as we can see, plenty of air pockets. That is always a good thing. And they're both individually bubble wrapped here as well. Nice sturdy box. Let's get the first one open to show you. Two both in the same line, remember? Ah, oh, yeah. It's Grandpa Joe from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Yes, you knew that I had to be getting some more of these at some point. And when I saw that Pop Figures had a couple that I needed... And the prices, I think, were about what I would be paying for them on eBay, Amazon, etc. I think Amazon, one of these may have been £5 cheaper, but there was no option to pay in instalments via clear pay, obviously. So here is Grandpa Joe. He's coming a pop protector as well. Um, oh, he's one of Pop Figure's own branded pop protectors there. That's really cool. I'm not sure I've got any of these yet. I'm going to get him out of the pot protector, and I will get him out briefly to have a look as well. Uh, but the condition, as I expected, is phenomenal for a pop that I think is from 2016, I believe. So a look at the back, I won't go into too much detail on here. There's a few that I still need, and there is obviously another one of these that I've got to show you in a minute. Uh, but I'll leave that as a little bit of a surprise. 
although you've probably seen the intro, so it's not that much of a surprise. Anyway, Grandpa Joe, the grandfather of Charlie Bucket from the movie and the book. Brilliant movie, brilliant book. I've talked about my love of Roald Dahl's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in previous videos. No complaints about condition at all. These are inbox pops for me, at least at the moment. And long vaulted as well. So I think Grandpa Joe... This one was 19.99, and here he is. Look, he's got grey balding hair. I've never seen a bald patch quite so prominent on a Funko Pop before, but there we are. He's uh, got a slightly darker but still sort of grey moustache. His wrinkles and crow's feet round his eyes, bags under his eyes as well. He's wearing a relatively smart, if inexpensive, looking grey-blue suit with a blue tie. And he's holding a bottle of, I think that'll be that um, bubbly lemonade stuff that um, when you drink it you float. I think so. Anyway, there's some text on here, let me see if I can see it. Yeah, fizzy lifting lemon, or lemonade it says. Brilliant, that's some nice, very minor detail there. And he's wearing grey brogues. A <laughs> great pop. Um, I really like that. I don't know, his hair's just making me chuckle here. So that was Grandpa Joe. Let's get the other one out. I think the other one is a little bit special as well, as you will see why in a moment. Putting Grandpa Joe back in his pop protector, as like I say, my Willy Wonka pops are in box, and there is Grandpa Joe. And let me show you the other one. This one was $29.99. I have seen it for $24.99 on Amazon. But there'll be no pop protector with that. And as I say, there'll be no interest-free layaway plan. Which I do like to avail of when it's a, quite an expensive purchase. And so the other pop, and I believe uh, it's a little bit out of place. But that's okay, because we've got to get him out and sort it in a minute. It's Mike TV. And the little Mike there isn't supposed to be there. I think, look, there's the space for little Mike TV there. Um, but he's so I floated up to Mike's head there, which uh, looks quite amusing, if inaccurate, here in the box. There again, comes in a pop protector, special pop figures branded one. It's got the little sticker on there as well. That's always nice. Um, let's get it out for a better look and to sort Mike and little Mike out. There again, mint condition, I would say. For a pop that's now for getting on for five years old, absolutely no qualms about box condition whatsoever. Oh, little Mike, he's just sort of falling into the side of the box now. Let's get little Mike out first. He's so small, look, look at tiny. I think this is the first pop I've got where it's like a normal size pop with like a little mini figure as well but this one seems really small smaller than like a pint size hero or a mystery certainly smaller than mystery mini because i've had mystery minis before and they're at least twice the size of this so it's a really tiny little thing that uh, i think if i was keeping mike tv out of box i'd be a little bit concerned to be honest that i'd be losing the little version because he's so small and here is the proper normal size mic. Brown hair, nice texture on that. Looks great. He's got his cowboy costume on. As uh, He's a big TV addict and uh, westerns and cowboy programs and stuff. Obviously one of his favourite genres. You can see Stetson, his white Stetson on his back there. He's got his toy gun holsters, yellow jumper and unusually coloured lime green trousers there white boots and then uh, comparing with the little fella there uh, i mean you know the scene mike tv sees that you can transmit chocolate via television in wonka's factory by getting a really massive bar and shrinking it down over television airwaves or something and he essentially wants to do it to himself he wants to be broadcast on tv as is and uh, yeah that's really cool, that. My first sort of pop with a little sidekick of a fashion, and it's the same guy, essentially. Let me put these back carefully, as uh, I want Little Mike, Mini Mike TV here to stay in his position as best as he possibly can. 
and Mike is back in his box and protector. So there we are. Thank you so much, Pop Figures, for two brilliant Willy Wonka Pops, both in amazing condition, happy with the price that I paid, given that they are more expensive Pops now. I think there's only two Willy Wonka Pops that I need now. You can probably, certainly if you're familiar with the Funko line, you'll know which ones they are. And um, they're both ones that are probably the most expensive when you're looking on eBay etc but uh, i'm gonna shop around as i try and do i've got some great deals the willy wonka three pop bundle that i got from ebay for about 60 something pound all in i mean that was a fantastic deal as that worked out much cheaper than if i would have had to buy them separate thank you to all of you for watching thank you to all of my subscribers and of course all of my patrons don't forget the JB1K giveaway. The link for that is at the very top of this description. And also in the description text box are my usual and recommended Funko affiliates. I'm going to go now and put Mike and Mini Mike and Grandpa Joe with the rest of my Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory Pops. And I do hope that you will join me again very soon for another Funko Pop unboxing. Cheers everyone. See ya!